Now, in that, I have mentioned the one story that uh, previously what we have seen, the same thing, it also shows in the screen view. As a welcome screen, it also shows these three important parameters. The first one is the one story. Next to that will be the global coordinate system. What we have fed in the unit, which is at the starting still, that also comes here as the three things. If you want to change anything at any stage of the work, we can change at no time. But making the, while making the grades, while making this uh, designing concept, it should be very clear enough. So the values, the spacings, the span height and the bay, it should not get altered. So from the unit part, from the story part, from the coordinate system, we must be clear cut to this as of the model making. For the next slide, once we have made it, we have made it the requirements that we need this story of this height and this span up to this height level. Now we need to assign the material properties of the structure what we are supposed to analyze and design. In these things, the material properties, what we are supposed to analyze for beams, for columns, and for slabs. These are the three major elements we are going to design in ETABS version of 2016. Beams, we will be deciding what will be the grade of concrete, what will be the steel grade of this beam. And second for the column, the grade of concrete and the grade of steel. For the slab as well, the grade of columns, uh, the, sorry, the grade of concrete, and the, that is the made grade of concrete, sorry, the grade of concrete as well as the grade of rebar, that is the rebar strength. We, in other words, we used to call it as FE415. FE415. For these three structural member, we need to decide. If it is of uh, concrete frame, this structure, beam, column, slabs will lie in the concrete part after choosing the concrete property of these three, we will be moving for the steel, that is for the rebar. If we are analyzing the steel structure, then everything will be made of steel parameter itself, like ISLB, Indian Standard Light Beam, Heavy Beam, Medium Beam, the slabs, the rest of these is struts, columns, details, column, beam, joints, rest of the parameter comes if we go for the material properties of steel structural design. Now, we have fed the basic property, material properties of the material members, what we are supposed to analyze. Next comes the section properties. Next slide, please. In the section properties, previously we desire, we assumed or we have input, the materials required will be for concrete, the grade of concrete and the grade of steel for beam, for column and slab. Now we need to define the sectional properties of the assigned member. In the previous thing, what we have assigned, we will be assigning the section properties. In that, let us assume the beams, whatever we require in the project, it will be of 300 by 300. In sort of MMs for column size of same, 3 by 300 by 300. In the slab, we will be mentioning the cover thickness as 25 mm, the slab thickness as 150 mm. These are the basic parameters we used to feed in the section properties. Once we feed this detail, it will go for the next thing. Next slide, please. The next point comes for the load pattern and the combinations. In these load pattern and combinations, based on the site conditions, based on the nature of structure, it always differs. Let it be for dead load, the program itself considered, Along with that, we have the live load of one kilonewton or for finishing load or for masonry load or for non-seismic load or for load belongs to machineries or for heavy equipment, whatever the things we require, that all these load patterns we will be considering. If it is of seismic, along with these live load combinations, the live load combos, we will be working for the seismic loads. In the seismic load, whether it, the building lies in which area, the zone one, two, three, four, five, as classified in the ETAP software, we will be working, we will be choosing based on the locality, what will be the seismic zone combo required for the structure, we will be choosing. If the structure is having the wind effect as well, based on that seismic plus wind combo gives to the design of shear wall, these parameters will also be considered in the, this step and let's move for the next one. Once, uh, next slide, please. 
we have defined the sections material properties the load combinations and after that we have to design one fixed end joint that is the support condition since i just considered this as a concrete frame structure i have not considered included in it the whole structure is considered as the fixed support so i have not included that that point is also the most important thing that we will be designing that we will be considering and building in the software the load in the end conditions the conditions of joints are found to be fixed in everywhere of the structure in the global coordinate system this we are finalizing we are feeding our input is over once we feed we have made the section details we have chosen the members to design we have chosen sorry to we have chosen the members to analyze and before it moves for the design we have chosen what are the load combos now we need to check we need to analyze whether the thing what we have chosen is as per the requirement made by is 456 or other sort of indian standards or not we need to run the analysis with the help of f5 button once we used to run the analysis each and every member of the structure will be checked and analyzed as per the standard we have chosen in the first step if everything is under the limit itself the command will show the member check is pass and if there is no error comes that also clarifies that there is no error or there is no sort of missing sometimes what happens if the structure is of very high unique height let it be for 80 meters or sorry 80 story or 90 story if we supposed to go for identify that is defining the members in a one story concept for another story in a different concept at that time what happens if we supposed to miss any of the parameters for example say in the story of 30th floor we have missed a column in this step the clearly the e tabs will show that this floor this point the element is missing or the failure can be occurred based on that check if found to be everything okay then the point comes for analyze then the point comes for going to the design part as of now the analysis is found to be okay and model is checked we will be having the result of shear force and bending moment diagram with the help of that we will be design the structure the section depth is okay to tackle this bending moment and what will be the reinforcement required to tackle this moment we will be computing in the design part next one is this design and member check cost as far as uh, columns and beams are concerned next slide please yeah thanks as far as these uh, columns and beams are concerned the designing is almost the same just same as far as the slab is concerned the e tab has two different method one is of manual choosing of slab one is the manual choosing of slab that means for each and every span or bay we need to choose the slab with the help of cursor from point a to point b point c to point d again from point d to point a in the strip area method if we complete this one circular that is in a clockwise manner if we complete one selection then the e tabs will consider that as a single slab if the structure is very small then we can go for strip area method if the structure is large and the slabs are enormous then we have to choose the fea method if we choose the fea method directly the point just we need to choose for only one floor and rest of the parameters we will choose for story all story options similar story concept rest of all these things will be fed to that and the time will be saved the software will automatically compute for the same and it will generate the result for us in the fea method the strip area method is used only if the structure is very small and the number of span is very very less if the uh, both the things are in a huge manner then we have to go obviously for finite element method the next slide please yeah now we have in a stage that analysis is done in the previous slide we have checked the design steps and we have got certain results of area of steel at the top area of steel at the bottom for beams and for columns for slabs as well now all these things to be put together in a single report then it has to move for the execution team 
for that e tabs is especially having such a great future that other software doesn't have i can say with the help of small feedings the beams the beam connections the columns the column connections the cross sections the cross sections of beams and column joints and rest of all these things can be easily made in a very single diagram itself and we can also made certain sort of corrections that always reflects in the detailing part if we want to change the colors if we want to change the colors for our understanding many things can be easily made within the small field within a small input that has the special factor as far as e tab is concerned and it prepares the rest of the things like uh, from the first page till the conclusion part in a readable pdf format which is easy for anyone if a small file if a single file that shows the structure having from the scratch till the finish it it's really very easy for anyone from the design part or from execution or from whatever the project management team it will be easy for anyone to understand to read the like, drawings and to understand the detailings in a very schematic in a very systematic way and it also have for the imports and from the import, import options the software is also having for import and export formats like it supports for dxf dwg and other options it can also be used for making readable pdf formats of reports in some other formats as well this can also be made with the help of e tabs in the detailing and the report sections now for the case studies next slide please in the case studies it is a very lengthy part i can say uh, we will be going for a different case let us say for eight to nine things i have mentioned for each and every case we will be designing a different structure we will be designing a different structure and we will be making a case study on the design analysis part and the design part in this higher first point the complete analysis and design of concrete frame structure let it be take this as a high rise building of g plus 15 or g plus 12 in that g plus 12 or 15 case we will be on a from the modeling part till the analysis from the analysis to the design and to the detailing and the reporting part we will be going in a detailed study in the course and the same way for the steel structure design let it be for uh, pv building let it be for steel structure or the steel frame building we will be designing the same for steel structure part if the structure doesn't have the shear wall what we are supposed to design in the high rise building then we will be designing the shear wall in a separate way or the same shear wall can also be designed in the concrete frame structure itself that will be having the very good uh, th that will be very good if we go for the high rise building in the first point itself along with the shear wall the next point comes for the sequential construction analysis these are the advanced parameters which are used to compute the structural behaviors for different purposes the name itself clears that the sequential construction analysis this is a in built input this is in built in the software for example let us take any building if in that building we are supposed to consider a g plus 2 structure in that g plus 2 structure what will be the sequence of loading when the structure keeps on increasing as per the plan that parameters that is the loading of that sequence can be analyzed with the help of this option available in the software for sequential construction analysis for example first story first g plus 1 if we are supposed to consider or g plus 2 first story is completed in that case how the structure behaves in the first story there is no load above it that is a different case for example in the second story part from the when the construction starts for the second story part then the loading starts acting on the below floor and this sequence when the construction goes on increasing what will be the effect of the load as this all these things will be computed with the help of this construction sequence analysis the story drift the ratio of the drift to the displacement with the help of loading conditions how the structure irregulates how it gets affects due to the mass and the torsional parameters the analysis of p delta the time history analysis 
the response is spectrum analysis on all these parameters have different purpose of study all these things will be computed with the different case study for all these models we will be designing a separate model and we will be having we will be setting the objective based on that objective we will be going for the analysis and we will be finding the results associated to that analysis or to that test the next slide is the conclusion part in the conclusion part i have mentioned at the finishing or the end of the course anyone without having any knowledge on etaps can easily understand the basic funda and he can easily operate as individually from the scratch till the finish and since we have various case studies on various types of structure it will also give the clear cut understandings of whether concrete frame design or a structural design or combination of both these things uh, that also included in the that also the sorry the inclusive of the shear walls all these things can be easily understand because we are supposed to go for case studies in rest of all these things it can easily be understood for analysis part as well as for the design part several advanced features like rsa p delta sequential constructions rest of other things what we have discussed in the previous slides can also be understood because without knowing what is the response spectrum analysis response spectrum analysis what is this p delta sequential construction these are the parameters or the technical terms that requires a small a bit knowledge of seismic conditions for before we go for that i will give an introduction of what is response spectrum analysis for example we say if i directly go for response spectrum analysis and if i keep on saying all these things first of all one should know what is this rsa like we have this rsa in a simple word if i just need to explain what is rsa we can say this as the peak response of a structure peak response of a structure associated to its applied motion or the force when the low structure is loaded how the peak the maximum response the structure delivers or behaves this stands for r as a likewise for the sequential constructions that i have explained a bit for p delta it also has for uh, certain uh, other uh, factors or uh, certain other parameters that we are going to discuss in the next coming or in the course itself directly and this is with to this the conclusion part is finished and thank you very much for this